Good, lead, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world, in the universe. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Healing Inner Child Wounds Conversations with Z or Rita. Um, on here today, I wasn't going to come on until later, but I wanted to do a quick, um, we'll see how quick it is, but it's the end of the week and just to see the energies of what was um, going on with the original um, message this week, inner child message. And so we're going to pull cards and go from there. If you, um, every Sunday I pull out the actual inner child deck and I actually do a reading for that week. And that energy goes for the whole week. And then I'm, I'll pull other cards just to see what else is going on. And since today is Saturday, we'll just see what's going on right now, um, energy-wise. Um, I've already protected, said the protection. I've already um, saged the cards, um, cleansed them, and prayed over them. Asked for the guidance and protection. Whoever comes to this channel will be afforded the same level of protection that I'm asking for, and I ask for a lot. Um, there have been, recently I've noticed, there's been some spammers commenting in my, um, in the check, you know, in the comment section. I don't really even care if you're commenting that it helps me out, so keep it up. But I have noticed that people have become, more people have watched my videos. I don't know if they think it's a karmic video or maybe my information is just now, you know, the right people are gaining access to what I have to say concerning the inner child. But anyway, thank you for stopping by. Um, this channel is a place of no judgment. We don't do drama. Um, you can be whoever you are because that's who you are and there's nothing wrong with it. Every time I get on my channel, I yawn. So there's something going on there with that yawning. But anyway, let's keep it moving. I tried to use this deck yesterday as a full reading. And it wouldn't let me. So I'm just going to use it as a quickie. What's the precursor message? Um, four sources on the bottom. Look at this. Four swords and ton of swords. And actually, it came out in reverse. So, okay, I'm going to leave it. Stuff that happened on this channel is for no reason. So, there is a ten of swords in for a situation. Somebody has, is feeling backstabbed. or They've been mentally backstabbed. And they're putting it to rest. And it's funny because whatever they were backstabbed about, because it's in reverse. The three of swords is upright. So, this was the truth. They were backstabbed in some type of either it's some type of relationship. It could be a love, it could be work, but it stabbed you in the heart. Somebody's somebody, but somebody don't want to see it. Look at that face. He's trying to turn his head so he doesn't see it. Somebody still wants to be blind to what they've done to another individual. Okay, we'll keep it over here. I'm not. Okay. Ugh. Excuse me. Um, because of this, what kind of healing do we need? It's just the message from the um. What is this called? That is too funny. Here. Oh, the crystal medicine. So, <laughs> the crystal medicine oracle. Okay, there it is. Creativity is and beauty. Whatever you're going to create or you're creating is going to be beautiful. And the stone crystal you need is 
Big Bite. And this crystal is the um, Crystal Wisdom Healing. There it is. I, it came right out. I'm going to take it. On the bottom, it has pink granite. And, but the one we're keeping is graphic smoky quartz. And it's number 49. And the other number is 7. So 7 and 49. These numbers are could be important to you. And how does this affect your astrology a couple of cards came out Sagittarius and fifth house house five passion play children confidence and creativity that's the fifth house and Sagittarius, Optimism, Exploration, and Freedom. So let's look at this real quick. I'm going to look at these. The first one, seven. You have attracted this powerful card into your awareness as a sign it is time to deepen your connection to the creative force, life force, energy of the universe. You are a creative soul and you are being invited to awaken to this passionate fire energy available to you at all times. Have you been feeling stuck in your life or experiencing a lack of drive and passion? Well, it's time to connect back to your creative flair. We are all creative beings, and when we disconnect from this life force energy, it can cause us to feel blocked, stale, and unmotivated. It's time to get your creativity sparked. What do you do that's creative? What sparks your passion? What makes you feel alive? Find out what makes your heart sing and action some steps to manifest this magic into your life. Make sure you call in the sacred fire to assist you with your creative projects and deepen your connection to the life force energy of the universe. So this is definitely fire energy. And you have Sagittarius out here, which is a fire sign. Um, 49. And this is a multi-dimensional stone. It's interactive. And what it does, this interactive vibration card, card is in, encompass a range of vibrations that help to bridge the physical and subtle energy bodies and integrate them with the environment and the multi-dimensions that surround us to bring about well-being on all levels so there's some type of healing probably taking place the stabilizer so you're going to stabilize the graphic smoky quartz supports all the structures in the body removing toxic debris and traumatic memories it keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions. And that's where you're going to be doing this uh, exploring. <clears throat> Lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your disease. Your self-esteem is low, creating a deficient immune system. Memories of old traumas have sub subtly, 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 amended your ancestral DNA. At a deep level, you have been compressed and limited. Allow yourself to expand again. And that's what this is, this creativity is about. Um, it's telling you to undertake a shamanic journey into the unseen worlds in search of healing. There you will find the underlying cause of causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being. Offer yourself the gift of transformation. So you're probably on, on a journey to heal. And this could be some type of covenant, some kind of contract. I'll take it. 
netcaster preparations come to fruition if you do what you're supposed to do that's what's going to happen whatever it is you're searching for um crown games right use of power so you're being asked to use your power in the correct manner eye of the needle intentionality you need to make sure you are using this with the right intention and this is all fire energy i see right here and wood woodwives adapt adaptability you need to be able to be adaptable while you're going through whatever these changes are you're going through um Neptune is on the bottom of this um the astrology deck. So this is about your dreams. So a lot of this may happen in your dreamscape. But house 5. Sorry it's taking so long. House five. This joyful space holds the simple pleasures of being alive. It reflects your creativity and where you feel confident and free. If looked at from the perspective of a lifespan, it's the grounded, nurtured human now relishing in self-expression. It's the singer's song, the extrovert's party, the flirt's love affair. The natural home of self-assured Leo and ruled by the sun, it's where you radiate and shine. Being a house of fun and confidence is also where you feel empowered and empowered to take risks. So this is where you're being you're being told to take these risks. And that's a fight. This is fire energy. So of course you it's definitely fire energy, and you're being told to take um take some type of action. Sagittarius. And with Sagittarius, life is an adventure for Sagittarius the Explorer. These beings are seekers, insatiably, insatiably curious and driven by big questions, and mostly, why am I here? They're forward-thinking and forever inspired. Like their ruling planet, Jupiter, they have a larger-than-life presence with the independence and optimism to begin again and again and again. Every new quest born from deep exist... Existing... Is that a T? Exist... Longing. I don't know. I can't say the word right now. And they often feel most at home on the journey, being more interested in philosophy and the world of ideas than reality. Um, and Sagittarius is um, dedicated to higher learning and things that expand the mind. Anything from foreign travel to university to psychedelics. It's freedom loving and unattached, both in thought and in action. However, the same sweeping viewpoints which it causes its moral compass, ethical code, and inspired visions can make it a bit aloof. And if this energy doesn't remember to stop and smell the roses, to connect with the small earthly pleasures and feats, it's prone to chronic dissatisfaction. No distance is far enough for this arrow ablaze. Landing only, it only leaves its wild imagination wanting more. So you got to be careful with that. You want to be able to explore, but you don't want to be so far out there where you don't come back down to reality. All right, so this is a part. This is one part of the reading. So this is something that somebody's being told to do, but apparently there was some type of um, backstabbing, um, uh, and somebody doesn't want to take own up to it. Now, I'm gonna pull five cards from here, and I'm gonna clarify them with the um tear of the dreams deck this is the dream keepers 
Tara. Yep, I'm getting the Nazar. I don't use I haven't used this deck in a long time. I started with it yesterday. So am I keeping this? Yeah. Five of Swords came out. So there is some type of jealous, some type of whatever was going on. Wow. Somebody was jealous, angry. And they want to come out of the cold. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, there's another Five, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. Okay, I need to pull something else. Whatever this is, it, had a, it was a burden. I need... Uh, Two more cards. There we go. The moon. And there's a card sticking out. Ace of Pentacles. Money. It's always money. Somebody, somebody is mad they didn't get the money. This person, whoever this person is, some, they backstabbed somebody. And now they don't want to own up to the hurt they caused. Um, your inner child is telling you to move past this. And whoever this per this person was a king of cups, so they don't they they were brutal, whatever they did they were brutal. And they celebrated it, and I, and 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 it's it's interesting because there's this king of swords, so this this looks like it's emperor energy. It looks like an emperor backstabs someone, and they party. They party. And there was fighting in the relationship. Whatever this relationship was, there was fighting. And somebody won. Somebody went to heal. Because they're not in that lack mentality anymore. So whoever whoever did the backstabbing, you know, they, they probably going to be in trouble because... Somebody is not in that lack mentality. Somebody has healed. They have healed their energy. So, you know, normally when you heal an energy like that, it's because someone has sent it to you. And But once you begin to heal it, it has to go back. If somebody casts in those kind of um, energies, um, they, they send them back to, to sender. And so this person... That King of Cups might be feeling this way now. Because of the confusion that they started. Oh. And there's a Queen of Swords now. That's going to be able to. You know. Celebrate possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Um. This Five of Swords energy. Can I have a message? There it is. Five of Wands. 
five 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 here's another five it's two five ones here that they, they were not they were not only jealous and hateful they were fighting this king of cups and this is manipulation this manipulation and it had something to do with somebody going after their passions um whoever the whoever And the Three of Cups, there was celebrations because they, uh, they knew there was money coming. There was some type of money coming. Yeah, the Page of Cups told them. I mean, Page of Coins told them there was going to be some type of money coming. And so, whoever this jealous person was that was fighting... Because somebody was celebrating about some money coming. Now there's this five of wands. Now there's fighting again. I mean, it was a lot of fighting. They're fighting because, over this money. And there's this three of cups again. Yeah, they were fighting because there was a celebration over the money. But who is this that's healing? Wow. They're fighting because somebody won and they won because they're healed. Somebody has healed themselves. The King of Cups. The King of Cups has healed himself. So, you know, I looked at it wrong. The King of Cups is the person that was being um, hmm. so it's two men out here with the relationship. So this is the King of Swords was the person that was not right. All right. Can I have a message for the King of Cups? Another card popped out. I'm not going to take these two. The King of Cups faced some type of judgment. Or there was some type of judgment. And because of that, it's allowing the King of Cups to make a decision to take action elsewhere. That will lead him to his emotional fulfillment. Oh, I didn't see this. Because he had faith. This is the Hierophant again. Yeah. His, this was a spiritual lesson. A spiritual um assignment on his journey this king of cups because they have faith and it's funny that it's under the uh, fifth house yeah they're moving away they will be able to move toward their passions things that make them happy night wise now what's going on with this king of swords since now that i know I'm not taking those. Now that I know that the King of Swords was the person that was not doing right. And I should have known that because I see all these swords out here in the beginning. Um... King of Swords, he doesn't want to see the burden that he was putting not only on others, but now that's coming back to him and wants to move off. He wants to, he wants to move forward because he has this clarity now. He has clarity on what he has done. And that's funny because I did show the um, Queen of Swords in that other deck. 
there's clarity on that. He's clear that this victory, this four of wands, this stability is not going to be his. He's going to have to go back to his, his place. He's going to have to replan. Yeah. Needs to go back and balance out. The higher friend, higher friend said, you need to go back to this lesson, spiritual lesson is go back, go back to the palace of swords and rethink things. Because um, your ship is gone. They want it, but it's gone. It's gone because of this. And they don't want to own up on it. Um, yeah, once they go back to this um, palace of swords, they'll they'll be able to figure out how to come out of this lack mentality because um, upright it's feelings of lack, but and that's true because let me hold on. Another card. It's three cards fell out, and I'm going to take them. They're coming out of the um, lack. And coming out of the lack will allow them to look at self-love going to the Palace of Cups. They'll be able to leave their, their mind mentally and go over to the Cups. Their, their mind will be able to switch from rational thinking to emotional thinking. And it will allow them to walk away from the swords, the mental attacks they've been doing to not only themselves, others, but to themselves as well. And by doing that, they'll be able to walk towards self-love. <clears throat> And once they do that, they'll be able to come over to the Palace of Coins. They'll be able to ground themselves and move toward money or things on the earthly plane. Because this person, this King of Swords, was stabbing people in the back over materials. And they're being forced to own up to it. Um, I'm going to leave the um, reading here. <clears throat> I'm going to end it. I'm hoping that wherever you may be on this board, that you're going to get to this energy. If you are the king of swords energy, you need to prepare for things to come your way. Because it's coming. Whatever you sent to other people is coming. And if you are the king of cups. Prepare to get what's coming to you. Because it's, it's your birthright. Whatever was done. Was done during. This. Um, past moon. Energy. And this is why the, the um, mess, these messages are coming out like this. And so if you be patient, things are coming forward to you. And it will allow you to invest in yourself. End the cycles, the sword cycle. Whatever, whatever was sent towards you, you'll be able to shake it off. Just make sure you're giving yourself love. Loving on yourself. Treating yourself good. Because the only time people can actually do this um, backstabbing thing is when you don't love yourself. And when th I think that's why this was able to happen. This is why that person, that king of swords, was able to backstab you. So move on away from it. Move on away from this energy. 
and balance yourself out. There is judgment, and wherever you are on it, you know, deal with it or don't deal with it. You know, don't, if it's someone else's judgment on you, you don't have to send it back. But if it's your self judgment, you need to get clear on that. And the only way you can do that is to clear it out. Then you can release this burden. And once you release the burden, You'll be able to have new creativity, new passions to go towards. And it will bring you great love, great passion, whatever it is. Is this cups? Yes. And it could be with whatever you're going to do in your life or with someone else. And there it is. It's intuitively. You know, the queen, queen of cups. Use your energy from the moon cycle to do so. Underneath there was the knight of cups. I'm not going any further with that um, but this king of cups you know you need to work on yourself make that decision yeah all right you all take care thank you for stopping by healing inner child wounds conversations with a z i'll be back peace